someone was finally crazy enough to do a 100% speedrun of Pokemon Legends Arceus, an achievement that goes beyond the boundaries of sanity for the sake of pure glory. Because the requirements for this speedrun are ridiculous. But what exactly are the ridiculous requirements for this speedrun, you might ask? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be covering the wild world of Pokemon Legends Arceus for you to find out. Pokemon Legends Arceus starts off by being isekai'd into the past by none other than Arceus, who steals your iPhone to communicate with you. God, God, I, I need some help. Can you please bring me my iPhone back? Once your iPhone is stolen and replaced with the Arse phone, you'll get teleported in front of the region's professor who wants you to catch the starter Pokemon that were let loose nearby, followed by a trip to Jubilee Village, which is the hub for pretty much everything you need to do in the game. You'll even meet ancestors of familiar faces from other Sinnoh region games, get your starter Pokemon, set off to defeat evil, catch a ton of Pokemon, and eventually confront God. But in order to do all this, you'll need to get past the star system. By earning enough points in each area, you'll unlock stars which give you access to even more more areas and in order to earn points you need to do research tasks that every pokemon has listed in your pokedex some examples of these tasks are evolving catching feeding or using moves on a pokemon Enough of these tasks would move the story forward to where eventually you'll take on noble Pokemon, which are giant Pokemon that normally protect the land, but are in a frenzied state that can only be cured by throwing beanbags at them. And with these bosses defeated, you'll learn new locations with new Pokemon to get tasked for until eventually the world around you changes to this hellish landscape where you have to find Azelf, Uxai, and mess spirit to get this item called the red chain this red chain is tied to the pokemon gods of time and space palkia and dialga with how the story progresses you'll be able to catch one and battle the other with beanbags eventually catching the second with an older style cherish ball and it's at this point where the any percent speed run will end but there's so much more content than that for not only a catch em all speed run but a 100 percent speed run and speaking of content, you should consider subscribing to the channel for more Pokemon speedrunning content. And while you're at it, check out my recent video on how speedrunners beat Pokemon Diamond and Pearl in under one hour. By catching every single Pokemon in the game, with the exception of a few legendary Pokemon that sometimes require owning other Nintendo Switch Pokemon games, you can eventually confront God, but not before an epic battle with the main antagonist Volo who may or may not be Cynthia's ancestor. It's not quite clear, but his theme and team have quite a few similarities to hers. But the battle's not over just yet, because surprise, it's Giratina time, who you have to battle immediately after Volo without healing. But surprise again, there's one more face to Giratina, meaning you have to take on Volo, Giratina regular form, and Giratina origin form, one after another. And then you can finally confront God. In a fight that's so hard that people refer to this game as the Dark Souls of Pokemon games. But even with everything I just explained, that only covers the tip of the iceberg for a 100% Legends Arceus speedrun. But before I cover the rest of the requirements, let me introduce you to the madman that would defy all logic for the pure glory of beating a Legends Arceus 100% speedrun. Hello, uh, my name is Halkry. And uh, this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. It was released uh, almost a year ago. On January 14th, 2023, Halkyrie would be the first person to showcase Pokemon Legends Arceus on the biggest speedrunning stage of them all, Games Done Quick. And with an amazing showcase, Halkyrie knew he'd have hundreds of fresh eyes on his Arceus speedruns. So if there was ever a time to go beyond the bounds of sanity, now would be the time to 100% the game in a speedrun. To reach 100% completion in Pokemon Legends Arceus, you need to catch every Pokemon, obtain all crafting recipes, beat all the quests, purchase every bag slot, confront God, and finally perfect the Pokedex. Crafting recipes and obtaining every bag slot requires a ton of money, and completing quests like the infamous Buizel Size quest yeah! isn't actually that much of a problem for speedrunner because none of these even come close to the biggest problem that lies within 100%ing Legends Arceus. And that problem is the Pokedex research task. Pokedex research tasks require you to do a stupid amount of things 
for these lovable pocket monsters. There are a total of three stages of Pokedex entries you'll go through when trying to 100% this game. The Pokedex completion stage for when you catch every Pokemon for the first time, the level 10 Pokedex stage, which earns you the shiny charm to get increased odds, and finally, the perfect Pokedex stage, which earns you nothing. You know I expect great things of you. Carry on the good fight out there. All right. <laughs> Wait, wait one second one second it's gotta be gotta be a mistake right it's gotta be just a, a mix-up <laughs> to cover every task in the legends rcs pokedex you'll have to earn research points by catching feeding fainting evolving throwing stuff at pokemon catching different sizes and what i consider to be the worst of them all using the same move over and over again with a single Pokemon. There are a total of 7,457 research tasks, with 687 of those that require you to use a move multiple times. And over 166 of those tasks require you to use a strong or agile style move. Strong and agile styles are battle mechanics introduced in Legends Arceus. Agile style will give you more turns in exchange for a less powerful move, while strong style gives a more powerful move in exchange for giving the opponent more turns. Each time you use one of these styles, you're greeted with the following sound and animation. While it's quite cool at first, it gets very annoying over time. And the worst part about this is that there are a total of 33 Pokemon that require you to use these battle styles up to 70 times. This meant that Halkiri had to see this same stupid animation 2,310 times. Some are at least more forgiving, only having you use the battle style 15 times in a row but that doesn't make these research tasks any less tedious. But luckily for Halk, he came in with a good mindset for this and had the solid strategy of spamming Lepa Berries for any PP management issues he came across along the way. In almost all Legends Arceus speedruns, you'll notice speedrunners constantly getting on and off their weird air ride Pokemon. This is in order to mine ore, take trees, or grab ground items to help stun Pokemon. Sometimes there are even tasks involving Pokemon that spawn in these shaking trees or ores in the ground, like the infamous Apom or Cherubi shaking tree task. But the worst ever spawn award goes to Distortion Spawns. Once you've cleared the noble Pokemon for the first time, an invisible timer that stops every time you enter a battle or cutscene will count down to when a distortion shows up. These distortions spawn rare Pokemon, distortion exclusive Pokemon, and rare items. The only problem is that the timer for when a distortion spawns is random between 5, 10, 15, 25, or 40 minutes of waiting if you're unlucky. This timer will reset to zero if you enter sub areas or if you change the time to day, evening, or night. It's so finicky that even weather conditions such as thunderstorms or droughts will reset the timer too. But at the very least, you're guaranteed three rare spawns when a distortion shows up, so it's not the most tedious thing unless you're really unlucky. The actual most tedious task of them all, according to Halkiri, goes towards catching sleeping Pokemon. While there are exploits to getting this to happen faster, Halkiri was both fortunate and unfortunate enough to be greeted with this face as he waited for them to sleep. It's just looking at me with those deep eyes. It's looking directly into my soul. I don't like it. Yeah, just go to sleep like literally right now. Where are we going now, Vulpix? <gasps> but eventually, he saw the light at the end of the tunnel, on top of Mount Coronet, where he beat Volo and Giratina with one Pokemon. I don't know why I was worried about getting outsped. I'm like 16 levels higher than I'm supposed to be for this fight. <laughs> the eventually destroyed God with beanbags, got 10 stars for maximum star rank, and with the final Pokedex task perfected, 
earning him a total of 124,250 research points, it was time for him to purchase every article of clothing and wrap up the world's first Pokemon Legends Arceus 100% speedrun. Clocking in at a whopping 175 hours, 25 minutes, and 0 seconds to complete the entire speedruns. With breaks and sleep included, this was a total of 477 hours, 41 minutes, and 6 seconds of real life time spent on this insane speedrun. Massive shoutouts to Halkyrie, who not only has the entire run on his YouTube channel, but was a massive help putting this video together. And while you're subscribing to him, be sure to subscribe to me for more Pokemon speedrunning content.